program on that day. That's a goal in itself. And when you set yourself up to say, like Chris, he might have had in mind that he wanted to drop 50 pounds, but if, it, if that was his only goal, immediate goal, it would have made it more frustrating saying, well, I want to lose 50 pounds, I've only lost one pound, opposed to saying, well, I'm going to get into a healthy lifestyle, I'm going to start working out on a consistent regimen, I'm going to start practicing proper nutrition, and that's going to be my main goal. Right, it's, a, it's definitely a lifestyle change. It's not just a diet or, a, you know, it's, it's a lifestyle change. It's a heart set and your mindset all have to be kind of together, you know, on the same page. And you have to have a lot of support and encouragement from your family and friends. And Chris, does your wife uh, have a fitness uh, activities also? Yes, she does a lot of running and walking and she does light weights and, and does a lot of, you know, on the treadmill. And your children are, you know, we're very active also, aren't you? Right. My, my daughter is a, a all American, a high school all American swimmer. And my son, he's a, plays basketball and swims as well. He's in middle school. I definitely think that when the parents are practicing proper nutrition, they set up and instill something positive in the children that they know that one, they don't have to think that as they get older, the body's going to deteriorate. You know, the body deteriorates more from the fact that you're doing things that are negative. Actually, Chris is in better condition now than what he probably was five years ago because now he's doing things to make his body more healthy. He's eating foods that are plenishing his body opposed to are destroying his body. Foods that are, are not good for your body can destroy the body internally and on the outside appearance. The main reason that people should get into a fitness program is to try to make their body healthy. And when they're eating to be healthy, they're going to see their body weight come down also. That's right. Because your body is a temple. And God wants us to take care of our bodies. So as far as your fitness program goes, Chris is coming in and working out with me on the weight training on Mondays and Fridays. And we do what we call a split training program, which means we work half his body one day and the other half the next day. And I do believe in weight training. I think weight training is definitely one of those things for males and females that's going to make their body stronger, denser, and make them able to do other activities that they may enjoy doing. That's great. I'm not as sore as I used to be when I, uh, like stiffness and, and things such as that, climbing stairs, uh, walking, I'm a lot better. I have more of a spring to my step, and I'm a lot stronger when I'm picking up furniture at the house or doing chores around the house. It makes a tremendous difference in just everyday living. I think actually, you know, the fact that Chris is in a, a fitness program, that he's seeing that other activities are much easier. He feels more inclined to do those activities and that the accomplishment of those activities probably comes much easier. It does, very much so. What does your wife think about the fact that you decided to get in a program and you've been so successful? She's just been real amazed that, it's, that I've been so persistent, I guess inconsistent, uh, with the program and, and she's just, you know, it's just an inspiration to her. And Chris made a term there that definitely, I think is the most important thing, is being consistent. He's very consistent about his, his fitness program, he's consistent about what he eats, he does of course, take a break from the, the fitness program some. He does take a break from the rigid foods or the two foods that he would say is not pleasure food. But as far as consistency goes, he is eating the foods that are important to nourish his body. Just like most people are being consistent about eating the things that are, are negative for the body. And then they want to eat right one day and want the immediate results. Again, setting yourself up a plan and getting with someone who's going to help you with that plan and keep you in touch with what your goals are, I think is a very important thing. Wouldn't you agree? I, I would agree. And, and the fact that Quincy's in excellent physical condition makes a big difference because you see that he is walking the uh, talk and he's living what he uh, what he preaches or what he professes. And that makes it, that's a big inspiration to me. So Chris, I, I want to thank you for being on the show again. What was the name of your church again? Chapel Hill United Methodist. And I think having Chris on the show is not only going to be inspirational for people that know him, but for people who are seeing the show and seeing what he's accomplished. I mean, he's dropped 50 pounds. We're showing the before and after picture of him. And that's definitely incredible 
feet for anyone, whether you're just started or you've been doing fitness for years. I've seen people who've been doing fitness for years are still trying to drop that 10, 15 pounds. He's dropped 50 pounds. I think he's just about at his go weight, right? Yes, I'm there. So I want to thank you for coming and being on the show with us today, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chris.